Hello students, welcome to lecture 4 of the equilibrium topic. We are learning chemical equilibrium. One more equilibrium, I have equilibrium we have learned after the chemical equilibrium. We have seen particularly in last class the applications of the equilibrium constant. And then we learn about the relation between the equilibrium constant and the standard free energy change and physical equilibrium. We have learned enough theory part. Now it is time to apply this theory part. So for this application we have to solve some very important questions. You can see this type of question exactly appearing in the various entrance examination. So I have to understand these questions carefully. The first question is classify classify each of the following equilibrium classify each of the following equilibrium each of the following equilibrium as homogeneous or heterogeneous as homogeneous or heterogeneous we know how to identify this if all the reagents that reactants and products are in same phase we call it as homogeneous and if they are in different phases we call it as heterogeneous so first example is calcium carbonate solid plus H2O liquid plus CO2 gas and reverse wave it gives Ca plus 2 aqueous and 2HCO3 negative at this. You, you can write the answer. I will first write all the questions and then we will see one by one answer. Next is CaCO3. Solid. Reverse molecules. CaO solid plus CO2 in gas state. Third is NH3 in aqueous state plus H2O in also liquid state ammonium ions are formed which are again in aqueous state and OH minus ions again in aqueous state fourth one is the ammonium carbonate which is in the solid state and reverse it gives 2NH3 Gas state plus CO2 in gas state and plus H2 also in gas state. You have to hide it. Right? Now it is easy to classify this equilibrium. So, I liquid gas definitely three different phases are present here. So, it is heterogeneous solid solid gas is again two phases are present so heterogeneous aqueous liquid aqueous liquid means all are in liquid so it is homogeneous solid and gas they are different phases so our answer should be 
heterogeneous so very simple type of classification it is we have to just look into the physical state phases if they are different we have to say that it is heterogeneous and if they are same we have to classify that as a homogeneous equilibrium so this is the first question very simple question can be asked in the examination so our concept should be very clear same phase homo different phase hetero that's how it is defined next is write the equilibrium constant expression write the equilibrium constant expression for the following reactions for the following reactions the first one is bacl three solid and it gives bao in solid state and carbon dioxide again gas state so we have to understand here one note that concentration of solid where is the solid here and here and concentration of pure liquid our unity unity means one one means when we write the equilibrium constant expression we need not write that for example kc for this we have been molar concentration of product raised to its stoichiometric coefficient which is 1 this co2 and this is bacl out of that these two are solids so their concentration is 1 so concentration of bao solid and concentration of bacl three solid is equal to 1 so what we write kc is equal to just molar concentration of co If it is in solid state, there is no need to mention it. If it is in solid state, and if it is in pure liquid state, what is Kp then? Kp also the same thing. We need not to mention the pressure because solids have very individual pressure. So this pressure of CO2 will be the Kp expression. So very important note. We have to remember here that if we can make a solid substance and pure liquid substance in equilibrium reaction while writing the equilibrium constant expression we should ignore their presence because their value is equal to 1 we have your practice of it agcl solid ag plus aqueous plus cl minus aqueous again we can say that this is solid so we can ignore it so kc is equal to ag plus into cl minus this expression and if we want to write it for kp how to write kp how to calculate kp kp is equal to kc into rt raised to delta ng that already we know it we can write it as pressure of or as it is in aqueous state we can theoretically write this pressure of ag plus and pressure of 
सेल माइनस वन दो दो स्पेशलिस निकेश कुछ नाउ थर्ड वन इज सीएच थ्री सीओ सीएच थ्री एसिटोन इन लिक्विड स्टेट इट इज एन इक्विब्रियम विथ द एसिटोन इन गैस स्टेट As it is pure liquid, its concentration is one. So we can write this as only the product. Pressure of acid like that. Now in the next question, we can go on writing so many questions, but only thing is that. We have to understand the concept. So we will make it short. We cover only all varieties. Interpretation will avoid. See the D here. CH4 in gas state plus. Two O two in gas state, CO two in gas state, two H two in gas state. Kc is the ratio of molar concentration of product. So I have to make square of it because there is two H two, CH four, and O two square. This is the expression for Kc. What is the expression for Kp? PCO2, PHO square divided by pressure of methane, pressure of oxygen square, like this. We'll take one more. Nickel in solid state. Four moles of carbon monoxide in gas state. A nickel tetra carbonyl again in gas state. So we can write K C is equal to nickel tetra carbonyl concentration. कार्बन मोनोक्साइड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन फोर पावर ऑफ एच एंड के पी इज इक्वल टू प्रेशर ऑफ निकल टिप्टा कार्बोनी प्रेशर ऑफ कार्बन मोनोक्साइड फोर पावर ऑफ एच लाइक दैट सो दिस इज द वे इन विच दिस एक्सप्रेशन कैन बी रिटर्न See once again how we have solved this question. Yes, very simple. If it is in solid state or in liquid state, liquid state or solid state, it should not be present in the equilibrium point because its value is one. Even though it is present, it will not change its value. That's why. We do not go mention it in that equation. So this is question number two. See question number third. For the reaction, for the reaction. Which reaction we are talking about? Nitrogen in gas state. Three hydrogen in gas state. It gives two moles of ammonia in gas state. Kp equals to forty one. At four hundred three.
फाइंड आउट वैल्यू ऑफ के पी फॉर ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रिएक्शन एट सेम टेम्परेचर द फर्स्ट इज टू मोल्स ऑफ एन एच थ्री गैस एक्सचेंज गिवस नाइट्रोजन इन गैस एक्सचेंज एंड थ्री मोल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इन गैस एक्स Now we can compare these two equations. Nitrogen and hydrogen will react. They are product. Ammonia is the product. Here it is reacting. Two moles of NH3, two moles of NH3. Nitrogen, nitrogen. Three moles of hydrogen, three moles of hydrogen. So reaction is reverse. Why we say reverse? Because Product of given reaction is reactant of this reaction. Reactant of given reaction is product of this reaction. Reaction is reverse of given reaction. So what happens to the KP? You know that reaction is reversed. We get the value which is reciprocal of the given equilibrium constant. So it is one by forty one. Which is two point four four into ten to minus two. Like this. If reaction is reverse, sir, the new equilibrium constant is inverse of given reaction equilibrium constant. See the next one. Half nitrogen gas plus three by two. Hydrogen gas and in H3 in gas state. What is the KP of this? What we can say? Compare this reaction with this reaction. Here only nitrogen. Here half nitrogen. Means it is multiplied by one by two. So we can say. Reaction is nothing but given reaction multiplied by half. So K P is nothing but this forty one raised to half because new equilibrium constant is old equilibrium constant raised to n factor. Here n factor is half and that is equal to. Six point four means it is square root of forty one, which is six point four. We have seen this concept. Equilibrium constant becomes old equilibrium constant raised to n factor. N factor is nothing but the multiple of that reaction, which is half in this case, because it was one one by two, three three by two, two. Two by two, which is one in that. Now one more case they have given us for calculation, and that is see which case they are talking about. Two moles of nitrogen, six moles of hydrogen. And this four moles of N is so you can say that given equation multi multiplied by two, isn't it? The reaction is nothing but given equation multiplied by two. That's why K P is equal to the equilibrium constant given multiplied by this n factor raised to that factor. 
so that becomes one six eight one. So if it is multiplied by two, the new equilibrium constant is nothing but old equilibrium constant raised to that n factor, which is two here. If it is divided, raised to half, multiplied by two, square, reverse, take inverse, like that cases we have already seen, and we have revised it in the form of this question. Now, next question: the following concentrations were obtained. Now we can get the equilibrium concentrations. One of the application of the equilibrium constant, calculation of equilibrium concentration. That part we understand now by solving questions. The question is question number four in this series. The following concentrations were obtained. Following concentrations. Following concentrations were obtained for formation of formation of ammonia in H three from. Nitrogen and hydrogen at equilibrium at 500 K. Molar concentration of nitrogen given here as 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 2. Molar hydrogen concentration P into ten to minus two molar and ammonium ammonia concentration is one point two into ten to minus two molar. Equilibrium constant. This minus two becomes plus two. 
This minus 6 becomes plus 6. You can cancel this. 1.44 divided by 1.5 into 27 multiplied by 10 raised to 4. Why oh, could do this with a simple calculator and see what answer I have. You have to compare this answer with your answer. It is 3.55 into 10 raised to 2. Which is nothing but 355 is the answer I am getting. You can also verify it's nothing difficult calculations. You can use always simple calculator and get that answer. So if you have constant they are asking why by the reaction. Product concentration raised to its stoichiometry coefficient divided by reactant concentration raised to it's try to make coefficient values are given. Now I will do the simple calculation. Only thing is that in the MCQs, the numbers will be such that you can easily operate. You need not to use calculator. That's how numbers are. Numbers will be given in the MCQs. But the concept you should understand. So this is regarding the equilibrium constant calculation. We'll go ahead now. Question number. Five, we are dealing. For the reaction, for the reaction, same reaction have you. Now what will be the unit of this in previous question? We can say it is equal to, unit is equal to mole per liter and what can say delta ng? Delta ng is nothing but number of moles of product, number of moles of reactant. Product is 2 minus reactant is 1 plus 3, only gases, yes all are gases. 2 minus 4, so it is minus 2. So we can write it as minus 2. So in that way, we can write this in the form of unit also. Now question number 5 from the reaction. They are given this reaction like this. The value of Kp, the value of Kp. Now in the question, if they are not given any, you should not worry about it. Value of Kp is equal to. 3.6 into 10 raised to minus 2. Now they are not mentioned unit in the question. Let it be. At 500 K. At 500 K. Calculate the value of Kc at the same temperature. Calculate value of Kc at the same temperature is the question. Now we know the relation between Kp and Kc. What is that relation? Kp is equal to Kc raised into Rp raised to delta n. So equation they have given here. So we write that equation once again. Nitrogen gas, 3 moles of nitrogen gas. 2 moles of ammonia gas delta N G equals to Np minus N R 2 minus 1 plus P 2 minus 4 2 minus 2 Kp is equal to Kc Rt is to delta N G Kc the have given Kc they are asking. So Kc is equal to Kp divided by Rt raised to delta Ng. Kp is given 3.6 into 10 to minus 2. R is in bar it is 0.083. 
and temperature should be absolute 500 and delta ng is equal to negative in the mcq if this question is asked you can take r is equal to 1 by 12 so that the calculation will be easier 1 by 12 is nothing but 500 divided by 12 approximate answer will come not exactly because if we actual value is 0.831 but it comes at 0.833 like that but in MCQs you can do like that but now in this calculation if calculators are allowed we should not worry about it this minus 2 in numerator become plus 2 so it becomes 0 0.083 into 500 square and if we do this calculation what value of case you will get it is 62.15 I am getting answer here 62.15 yes you can verify that answer this is question number 4 uh, question number 5 here now we will go ahead, we will cover all the concept one one example, not many examples we are solving, otherwise it will be very lazy. Only thing is that concept should be clear and you should know how to apply it. The equilibrium constant at 298k. The equilibrium constant at 298k for the reaction for the reaction copper in solid state copper in solid state plus 2 moles of Ag plus ion in aqueous state Cu plus 2 in aqueous state 2 Ag in solid state is 2 into 10 is to 15 very high equilibrium constant means it will going forward direction means copper can displace silver from its start solution because copper is more reactive metal than silver but the question is in a solution in a solution in which copper has displaced in which copper has displaced some silver ions from solution the concentration of Cu plus 2 ion the concentration of Cu plus 2 ions is 1.8 into 10 raised to minus 2 mole per liter and concentration of Ag plus ions is 3 into 10 raised to minus 9 mole per liter is this system is this system is reaction at equilibrium they ask for this question whether this system 
is it at equilibrium or not now first we have to write the equation once again we write this given equation with their physical states now whether this is at equilibrium or not how to understand this we know that at equilibrium qc is equal to kc what is the difference this is reaction equation and this is the equilibrium constant what is the difference difference is equilibrium constant is ratio of molar concentration of product to reactant at equilibrium this is also the ratio of qc is also the ratio of product to reactant but this is at any stage not at equilibrium so kc value is given qc we can calculate compare it if it is equal we will say it is at equilibrium What is QC then? QC is nothing but molar concentration of product. This is in solid state. We should not take it in calculation. Even if we take its value is one, one square is one, so that will not trouble our calculation. Cu plus two divided by is plus and square of it because of two moles. What is the concentration of Cu plus two? It is given one point eight. Into ten to minus two. What is the concentration of Ag plus three into ten to minus nine square? What is the value of this after simplification? It is nothing but two multiplied by ten to fifteen. Qc is Two into ten is to fifteen. Kc is also given, which is also same. Qc is equal to Kc. That's why we can say reaction is in equilibrium. If Q Kc is greater than Qc, we would have said it is moving in forward direction. If Qc is greater than Kc, we would say it has been going in reverse direction. But as the inverse. we can say that the reaction is at equilibrium right so very simple concept the difference between reaction equation and equilibrium constant ratio of molar concentration of product to reactant only at equilibrium product to reactant at any stage so this is the difference between these two And we can compare these two, and we can predict about the direction of the reaction. Here, the direction we say is at the equilibrium. Right. See the next one. Consider the reaction. Consider the reaction. A plus B reversely gives AB. K equals to one into ten to two plus two. And E of E plus E of gives E of. And equilibrium constant is one into ten to minus three. Out of A B and E, which is more stable? More stable. 
comparison to its reactant. Now we compare this to K given here. 1 into 10 raised to 2 is greater than 1 into 10 raised to minus 3. So you can say AB is more stable because its equilibrium constant is greater. So AB is more stable because AB is more stable. AB is more stable because value of k is greater so this concept is also very important higher the value of the constant more stable are the product compared to reactant then yes we will take one more last question for today's class question number 8 for the reaction on the action is given for a reaction FeO in solid state plus carbon monoxide in gas state iron in solid state and carbon dioxide in gas state kp equals to 5 0. 505 at 1373k if reaction mixture if reaction mixture has one mole of F E and F U one mole of iron and iron oxide which is ferrous oxide because oxidation over balance is plus two thus this ferric 1.5 atm carbon monoxide and 0.6 atm CO2 in which direction reaction will go so I have to compare the KP and QP here we can write QP is equal to this is solid shape we can ignore it pressure of solid and pressure of carbon monoxide this also is solid shape one more one more they have taken so multiply by one multiply by one that doesn't matter CO2 pressure is 0.6 and this is 1.5 this happens to be 0.4 QP and KP. QP is 0 0.4 and KP is 0 0.505. So you can say KP is greater than QP. That's why you can say reaction will go. Yes. In which direction KP is greater than QP? Forward direction. In forward direction so these are some seven eight questions try to understand these questions 
I already told you, physical chemistry you cannot understand without solving the numericals. So these eight numericals are enough for few percent. We'll take more for calculation of equilibrium concentration. I've not done this in this class, but next class we'll do that. So always be ready with the calculator so that you can do calculations simultaneously and verify the answer. Because just writing the answer will not uh, the concept will not be clear to you, so you should be do simultaneously with me, then only uh, it is better for understanding. So thank you for watching this video.